my one cent solution. It's a way to fight environmental damage, put people to work. It's the kind of thing that has the capacity to sweep the world. This could be done in Bombay and Calcutta and Delhi and every place else. A young man and a community group of nine people on the board organized themselves in a poor and, at that time, high crime area of Port-au-Prince to do something most of us take for granted, to pick up the garbage. And then they designed, this is amazing, they designed two simple machines that could be operated by one person to do the following. They took all the paper and they chopped it up into little pieces with a machine of their design. Then they poured water on it and made it as wet as possible and chopped it up some more. Then they mixed it with sawdust, which they got for free from a local furniture manufacturer who was delighted to have somebody just take the sawdust off his hands. Then they put the mess into a, in the canisters about so big with holes in them and about this big around. And they put 12 canisters at a time into a press they designed themselves and they pressed the water out, taking about a third of the size out. Then they cut the ensuing stick into briquettes about so big and they put it out in the sun to dry. Four of these in a typical Haitian stove will provide dinner and burn for 45 minutes. They sell them for a penny each. It costs 20 cents to buy the charcoal that burns that long. Now you say 16 cents may not mean much to most of you, but if you're living on less than $2 a day, it's a lot. The process of producing and selling this employs somewhere between 10 and 20 times as many people as cutting down trees and converting it into charcoal and selling it costs. 